Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. Well, thanks for coming along again. Uh, yesterday was a busy day. I did end up doing two videos. I only uploaded one and the second one should be uploaded today sometime. Today, getting our walk done first thing in the morning. Um, then we're going to take the cows over into the other paddock. And then I've got to go and slash some grass from the neighbor's boundary. I don't want the fire has it. Um, and then yeah, we've got to set we've got Juma and then now uh, when we come back we've got to place that tent up. Um, get it ready for camping. Have a look if there's anything else there. We need to get ready. Mom's going shopping after Juma. I've got to bring the more firewood from Brother Mom and Dean's place. He's got some more wood ready for me. And then yeah, afternoon basically we'll be just uh, getting ready for camping. Yeah, it's gonna be a hot day today, so um trying to get things done early I guess um, especially the walk bit so anyway stick around so this is uh, basically the cows are at the moment the house paddock and you can see the fence over there so I'm transferring them on this side so they got their own water dam everything lots and lots of grass and this basically paddock on the south side goes all the way to our boundary which is probably still another kilometer away so they got plenty of grass for another three or four months they can stay there basically all right let's transfer these cars over now i called them up already yeah they'll come that's why i like like them having close to the house because i can feed them up and they get used to me um but once they don't see me for a while, then they're like, who are you? They get a bit scared. Well, that's all right. I'll make sure that here and there. Every couple of weekends, I'll bring them in. Let's give them some feed. So, yeah, they're still used to me. Look at them following me. Like a dog. All right, I'm putting in that paddock. Make sure you remain friendly with me, all right? Just like this. Don't forget about me. Bye. Look at the grass. And this is like whole 15 acres just like this. So they got no shortage of grass over next um, year, I reckon even six months. All right, I love you and leave you. Ciao. Listen, the frogs. All right, before I start, because I washed the tractor the other day, I need to um, uh, grease it. All right, all ready to go. So that's our neighbor's house over there, and that's basically our boundary is as well. So I just need to go a couple of acres from uh, their boundary to our side. You just need to flash that. So if there is any fire, because as I said, we're next to the highway, and sometimes yeah, you just never know. So I just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing, um, protecting them as well as us. Our house, just to get perspective here, I am is over at the back. I'm sure you can see it. And as you can see I've been slashing it as I was driving it through. The grass is crazy at the moment. In any way, let's get into it because I am running back.
No, that's all done. Clear a little, little bit of it. Well, just as you can see, there's too much water. But I think that's enough for now. At least um, I'll cover their boundary. Um, maybe come back again in a couple of weeks time. Hopefully when it's a bit drier. But now I've got to go at the front on the road, main road and do some uh, slushing today. Have a look at it at the front. How long it is. It's crazy. It's here. Alright, that's the best I could do. I think there's a lot of water in here. That's why I couldn't do it, but that looks good better. Uh, that'll do it for now. Nice. Uh, go and get ready for Juma. Alright, we're ready for Juma. Learning a little bit late. So, we're gonna rush it. We'll probably catch up with you guys at Marim's place. They will deliver us to summarize. Let us be a good example for our children and tell them, where are you in Madrasa? And any other information you learn, this is a practice on us as your father and mother. Other ones will confuse them and let them say, look, if Islam is true, how come my father and my mother, they live different to what Allah was saying, and their turn becomes somewhat strange. But when you remain calm and good example, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will enter here. And then the true judgment. Meanwhile, we remember from those who died, and just remember, I am next. To me, as a person, there is no living father between me and Adam Alayhi Salaam. All my parents are wrong. It means I am next. I don't know about you, but nothing to do with age anyway. It is to do with time when I was over what has to be. But let us do good deeds because the world is drowning in, in so many sin. The sin sick world. And with good deeds will be fine. Don't be afraid. You may be made afraid, but when you are in fear, challenge that fear. And remember, sometimes what you are afraid to say is what we have to say. When you are afraid to go, then we will have to go. But with our Subhanahu wa Ta'ala and our God with this as a believer, there is no problem that life can bring. You don't have what it takes to overcome. Hi everyone, all right, so you like my haircut? Yeah, number two all over. Anyway, we went for Juma, now Mushi and I, looking after babysitting these guys. Here was the biggest argument before, pillows were checked, chucked everywhere because this is... I am Yasmin! Oh hi. I am Yasmin! Uh, I am Yasmin! And this guy here, he chucked the pillows because he wanted to watch something else and Zachary no, wanted to watch no. something else. Mama just snatched um, the remote from me. Yeah, but you wanted to watch something else. So I said to them that you can only watch TV. TV is only coming on if you all guys agree with one movie. So, they all agreed on, what is this? Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat. They all agreed on that. And now the TV is on. Now, Mushi and I are looking after these guys. And they're eating so much and drinking juice. Oh, seriously, I'm just going to eat. And giving me orders like, I want this. I want this. And this guy here, again, I gave him a juice. And just because I had a sip from it, he's saying he wants a fresh one. All right, we got back home, got the wood from Brother Bomadin. Very good, thank you very much. Free wood. Now, what are we doing? Taking the shopping out. Yeah, and then the wood. And unloading that, and then packing the camping stuff. All right, let's undo this thing. I get it ready for tomorrow now. We're a bit late. We're supposed to be um, at dinner, seven o'clock. We'll see how we go. Typical Pakistanis, late running late. Okay, mom, what's for dinner? Um, we're going to Umber's place. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're not having dinner here. Um, so, oh, wait, where's the spring onions? Look at this. We're giving this to um, the guests who, not guests, sorry, people's house we're going to, our family friends. Got a few zucchinis, a few zucchinis in there, and a massive... Well, I think how much spring onions? Three massive spring onions. So yeah, and 
Look and look at all this stuff on the couch. This is all for camping. That's my sleeping bag. A few stuff there for the kids. Towels, because we might go swimming in the river. Blankets. And some snacks right here and a menu log bag. And I don't know if you guys already saw. Maybe Dad already showed you, but... Okay, I don't know where the tent went. Oh, wait, it's in the trailer. My bad. Yeah, the tent was there. I didn't see that put away. Huh. Okay, so... I'll see you guys later. Bye.